Our ambassador, Brad Wilson, originally went to school to become an English teacher, but ended up in business and music. To pay the bills, he does design work for an apparel decoration company and manages the online stores that they operate for organizations and sports teams all over the country. Brad's family traces their roots back to Scotland, with the Wilsons being a sept of Clan Gun. Brad himself is a piper, and he performs at local events and festivals and parades. He even pipes for a local school football team, the McGuffey Highlanders, and he pipes them onto the field every year. An active Civil War reenactor, Brad portrays a soldier of the 140th Pennsylvania Company A, a unit that was actually founded in his hometown. Now, Brad is clearly a spiffing fellow who is fully enjoying his heritage, but that's actually not the main reason we asked him to be an ambassador. You see, Brad also has a really big heart. He designed and got woven a unique tartan named Continue. This pattern is dedicated to suicide awareness. It basically goes like this. In the spring of 2021, Brad participated in a design tartan contest, basically, you know, just for fun. Then that summer, a few events took place that pushed Brad's interest into creating something with a bit more meaning behind it. He explains, In the last few years, I have had several friends go through some very dark times, and others who have taken permanent steps to leave that darkness. That spurred me to create the initial designs. I wanted to share some small reminder that there's still hope in the world, things worth sticking around for, even in the darkest times. Brad toyed around with a few different variations, but eventually he shelved the project. However, in 2022, the same design contest happened again, and Brad made some revisions and submitted the design, and this time he won first place. The Continue Tartan, described as dedicated to those who fight the invisible battle every day, holds a lot of symbolism in its threads. Two of the primary colors are teal and purple, colors typically used in the suicide awareness ribbon. The white stripes that cut through the black are a reminder of how there can still be hope even in the darkest of times. And Brad also added some very personal metaphors for himself. He explains, One section is modeled after the eye of a peacock feather, which is a tribute to my wife and I. We have both dealt with times when we could have used a reminder like this. Coincidentally, the green stripe included as part of the peacock eye is also the color typically used for the mental health awareness ribbon. So after the contest win, Brad set up a Facebook group to share updates on the tartan. Several people opted in to help get it woven and to have kilts made. In the future, Brad hopes the continued tartan will gain popularity and in doing so offer comfort to many people. And he's hoping the tartan cloth can be used in some non-kilt items as well, like uh, flight tag keychains, small home decorations, and other forms of clothing. In the meantime, he is tinkering around with a weathered version of the tartan. He says, I am hoping to have it in more hands as a little piece of hope people can have whenever they might need it. I want to remind as many people as possible that even in the darkest of nights, there will always be a sunrise. It might seem far away, but you'll never get to see it if you leave now. Now, for my own part, I feel it would be hard to find a more honorable or more loving cause to create a tartan for. So we here at USA Kilts wish Brad all the success in the world. To learn more, check out the Continue Tartan group on Facebook. You can also say hi to Brad on the Kilts and Culture Facebook group. And please keep this in mind. If you or someone you love is in crisis, you can dial 988 to reach the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. It's staffed 24-7, it's free, it's confidential. Trained crisis response professionals can support individuals considering suicide, self-harm, or any behavioral or mental health need. That's for themselves or for people seeking help for a loved one. They can even put you in touch with local resources as well as the Veterans Crisis Line. Spread the word, folks, please.